So many audience, I mean, did certainly enjoy the high quality mm -hmm. concerts. But there was also a collaboration between uh, movie stars, uh, a music video called Koinonia. Right. So they did create this collaboration um, ahead of time before the Pope arrived, and this was in preparation for the Pope's arrival. Mm -hmm. uh, but on top of creating uh, performances for the Pope in honor of the Pope, they also uh, some artists took it upon themselves to create things in honor of the martyrs, 124 who were beatified this weekend. So take a look. Early Saturday, Pope Francis made his way to Gwangamun Square for the long-anticipated beatification ceremony. Another artist to contribute to the Pope's visit is pianist Peck Konu. An accomplished pianist, Peck performed St. Francis of Assisi preaching to the birds, which is an eight-minute piano composition by Liszt. Pope Francis is the first Pope to take the name of Francis after St. Francis of Assisi a character known for his humility and humbleness. And alongside the ceremony was a large oil painting. Standing at three meters wide and two meters long, it shows the 124 martyrs who were persecuted in the late 18th and 19th centuries, seen wearing traditional white clothing. In their hands, they each hold a palm branch, a cross, and a lily, symbols of victory, martyrdom, and chastity in Catholicism. Of the 124, 100 were men and 24 were women. They included Anastasia E. Bonggum, the youngest martyr, aged only 12 at the time of her execution in 1839. She is seen holding a bunch of lilies and the Rose of Sharon, Korea's national flower. So a very moving depiction of the martyrs there. But you did mention before the show, before the newscast, that mm -hmm. there was something special about the Pope's clothes. Right, right. So um, on multiple occasions on the Pope's trip, he did mention this, you know, this uh, danger in material goods, right? Mm -hmm. And so the Pope's clothes, actually interesting, were handcrafted by six nuns from the uh, Sister Disciples of the Divine Master community here based in Seoul. And so they took it upon themselves over four months. They hand-stitched each one of his robes that he wore for the beatification ceremony. Mm -hmm. and the Mass held on Friday. So very special, you know, those in themselves are artworks. Mm -hmm. And you said there were certain skills and mm -hmm. requirements that need to right. be made um, in order for them to have the the finalized clothes mm -hmm. or the robe. Mm -hmm. So people were really saying his clothes kind of uh, conveyed the Pope, you know, hey, what he stands for. is a very simplistic stance, a very simplistic robe, um, but beautiful. And so the nuns really displayed artistic talent there. They also created a statue of the Virgin Mary and the infant baby Jesus um, wearing Korean traditional clothes. And so that was an interesting statue that they did post um, on the altar during the beatification ceremony. So mm -hmm. um, some beautiful artworks to contribute, you know, to the culture of Korea now. Mm -hmm. uh, the Pope has left but his, uh, what he yes. left for us should uh, linger. Exactly. All right. All right. Thank you very much, Uni, for today's report. A pleasure.